Hello there, everybody, and welcome back once again to Space Engineers. You join me on this gloomy, gloomy morning for a hopefully not very gloomy episode here. Uh, let's just hop down from my perch and... Oh, oh, look at that! No broken ankles today. I spoke too soon. These things are definitely running out of warranty. All right, now, the previous episode was a huge success. Thank you all so much for your likes, your subscriptions, your comments. Man, you guys just really knocked it out of the park once again, as always. Uh, Magic and I are a little bit overwhelmed by all the love, so please... And uh, thank you. Uh, stop doing it. Okay, we just we can't cope with the affection. Do you feel the support and love of a wonderful community? This over here got a lot of names as well. I asked you guys to name the ship. It's a bit of a tradition around here for those of you who are new. And there were some great suggestions coming through. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer. So we'll be naming this somewhere in the middle of this episode. Keep an eye out for your name if you see it. Let us know. Uh, but until then, we've got other bigger plans. I want to expand this plan, this platform today, right? We, we got some stuff I want to do. I want to get into large grid tools like the assembler and the refinery, which we'll explain a little bit more in detail when we get there. Uh, in order to do that, I know I'm going to need quite a bit more stuff. So we're going to have to go looking for that stuff today. Let's drop the uh, wheel suspension before I accidentally blow us up. So now, now these wheels are now also on the same back wheel suspension group. It's not critical, it's just nice to do, right? Let's go ahead and refresh. And, oh god, I'm out of food. Uh, I'm going to put away all the stuff we don't need. We do have an extra grinder. We don't really need it, but yeah, you know, nice to have. Uh, and then I will take the emergency ration. Thank you so much, which we will eat and turn into delicious, delicious poop. Now, I need a large steel tube in order to build this wheel, which is uh, a bit of a pain. Can I... Did I manage to get one from my tra travels here? No. Uh, looks like we've got quite a bit on the roster here. Yeah, batteries, computers, yada yada yada. Alright, so nothing nothing of any real value. We're still missing a wheel there. Alright, well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and travel over, why don't we, to that unknown signal. There is allegedly some silver over here, and there's a wreck detected in that direction too. Oh no, there it is! Thought it was a tree. There's the shelter. I just want to grab the last of the steel off of this thing before we go for good. I'll leave the other shack up, you know, give people a little bit of something to, to, to come back to. We don't want to completely rob them. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this over and maybe don't drop it on top of your head. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to grab all the steel plates off of this and then we're going to get on the way. One. All the steel plates later. Okay, fantastic. That's quite a bit more steel. We can go ahead and roll back into our base, but I'm going to get moving again. This is a rover playthrough after all, before we get any more development done. I want to head towards that unknown signal and that wreck detected ping we got. I, I don't know what that is, uh, but I am really interested to check it out. There's some silicon over here. I think we'll <laughs> dodge it <laughs> for the second and uh, just keep up our reckless driving behavior in this direction. Now, there were quite a few suggestions uh, t telling us to add the smoothing terrain mod, but I think that that goes against the core principles of this channel, which is entropy in all things. <laughs> now, magnesium and silicon, that is something I paused the travels for. Magnesium, silicon, and ice? Oh, baby. Give me a slash GPS. We're going to add that to the, the roster for sure. I don't need to see it right now. But as soon as we have a refinery, that's going to be crazy valuable. There were also a lot of great suggestions for how we should build out our rover. And I loved the suggestions that said we should have a VTOL system. Uh, there's also quite a few people who said it'd be cool to see us build bridges, which that would kind of circumnavigate. So I think what we'll do is probably go for like a hybrid. So we'll start by, you know, getting our small grid rover here function. Then we move on to building a large grid mobile base. Uh, you know, which is we just get the basics going first and we slowly expand on it and then we add functionality to that single vehicle as we go. And we can be a bit of a carrier, it can carry this little one with it, which maybe we can turn into like a bit of a mining station or something, you know, to move resources back and forth in hard to reach places. There's a lot of really cool ideas we can move around and uh, I definitely love to check it out. And don't you dare, you son of a gun, you come back here right now. Cut the thruster, cut the thruster. There we go. Yeah, you got. You better believe you're gonna fall down to the damn ground. Low. Yeah, you know what else is low? This 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 beacon right over here, because we got him. Uh, you gotta look at the one that has the symbol on it. There we go, and you'll get a special item. Ooh, a crocodile skinned rifle. 
Well, I mean, no accounting for taste. Now, what I'm really looking for in all of these things is not actually the items from them, but rather the computers that we get out of it, as well as the batteries, these ones right here. We can't actually make power cells just yet, so every battery we can get a hold of is worth it. I got some Saberoid meat. Yummy snacks. I got some construction components and some fertilizer. All right, pretty good. I will take the thruster as well, because that gives us some metal grids. We need those to build cargo containers. Now, I have installed the detach mod. Uh, it's now part of the mod list. You just hold control and uh, then grind something to detach it. So we're going to hit R and bring this bad boy back to base. All right, let's just add that on top of the hump. So I need to add a merge block over here. I think I want to attach it right. Oh, please stop. <laughs> I keep uh, I'm used to having the armor block on number four. So I'm just popping it out by default. But I feel like I am definitely going to shoot this thing at some point. Uh, let's prop down a merge block right over. How do I want to do this? What's the easiest way? I think we'll just pop one right over there. And then we'll pop one of these right on there. Weld them up. And then we just grab this. Uh, I need to switch to nothing. We hold, hold on, I can remember how to do this. I gotta hold left click to rotate. There we go. And then I can use the transformation controls as we saw before. It's gonna slot that bad boy in. There we go. And tap R. Okay, then can we just give it, a, give it a push? Come on, there we go. All right, great, another battery. So I don't think I need to hack this. Someone did mention if you own 80% of the grid, you should just be able to transfer ownership. So if I hit control A, transfer to me. Yes. So did that did that move the special content power over to me? Uh, no, but that's okay because we can just rename it. Small. It doesn't seem to have transferred ownership. Small battery. We'll make you small battery four. How about that? Uh, but just to check here. So do I have control over this. I do have control over it, so it doesn't really matter. But you are currently off. Uh, please turn on. There we go. Another battery added to the pile. Beautiful. And then just for symmetry, we can pop this one off. Okay, and then move it over here. And voila, we have the battery reattached. Fantastic. All right, cool. I'm hungry again, uh, so we should probably get some snack time. We should have been making a bunch of food. I think we're almost out of stone, though. That's going to be a problem. We got 10 emergency rations. Go ahead, eat up full, buddy. And we'll store the extra rations down here, too. Oh, the cargo container's full. <gasps> That's bad. That's real bad. We need more cargo space. That's what I'm realizing. All right, now the easiest way to do that is going to be to expand the ship. So let's grab a... Uh, well, first things first, we're going to want to grab a connector. No, conveyor. We want to grab a conveyor, the small conveyors. We want to grab... Not small cargo container, as tempting as that is. It's not really what we're looking for. Small conveyor. Here we go. And I want to add just a normal reinforced conveyor tube. And we're just going to face it this way so we can see it. Perfect. And then we'll do the same on this side. So what conveyor tubes allow you to do is connect the inventories between all of your different components. The big orange square on the side of your blocks is kind of like their inventory connector. Now there are two sizes on small grid ships. On large grid ships it doesn't matter. But on small grid ships there are the small ones and the large ones just to add a bit of complexity. Uh, the large ones can transfer everything. The small ones can only transfer ores and some small components, not everything. So like large steel tubes, I don't think you can send those through the small tubes. So that's a bit of a problem, but oh well. You can put them in through the small tubes, but you can't transfer them between inventories through the small tubes. So, uh, I mean, this isn't a permanent rover. This is probably going to be used for ore uh, pretty soon. So I don't mind having it done this way for now. Then what we need is some... Oh, maybe we need to land. Well, that was unexpected. What I wanted to make uh, before I was so rudely interrupted was another medium cargo container here. Yeah, just like this. Because this got that small connector on the side and then it got a big one going up. And the big one going up is actually what I'm interested in here. So I need to move this out by a little bit more. Just like so. This is super scuffed. We're probably going to have to redesign this at some point. But for now, it will work. Uh, this is going to go there. We already have the O2H2 generator. Do you know what we could build on here, which would be pretty cool, is a hydrogen engine. Uh, that would actually be amazing, because the hydrogen engine would allow us to generate power using a whole bunch of the stuff we've managed to gather here. Okay, we're probably going to want a hydrogen tank then, 
and then an engine to go on top of it. And we can just turn that on and off as kind of like an emergency backup power. Okay, give me a hydrogen tank. Sorry, I know we're all over the place, but I'm trying to work out how I want to do this most effectively. All right, start me with the small hydrogen tank. This is basically like a pass-through. So why don't we cut off one of these and add a couple of hydrogen tanks along the way. We don't need oxygen because we can just breathe the air here on this planet. So we can do that and we can do that. That gives us two hydrogen tanks, right? That's pretty nifty. We've also got space in between them for other components now. That might be a pretty good place to put in a gyroscope. We don't actually have one on this ship. And this will allow us to control the sort of up, down, left, right, back and forward motion. Your pitch roll and yaw. I am spending a large steel tube on that. Where did I get a large steel tube? Please put it into this wheel. Thank you. That feels more important. Gyro's coming back off. We, we will get it in there, but not right now. Instead, for now, let's uh, focus on making this. Oh, I need large steel tubes. Oh, can't make them. Do I have any? I have four small steel tubes and nothing else. And in my survival kit, I cannot make large steel tubes. Okay, so no tank for us just yet. I mean, we can leave them in here as placeholders, right? That's fine. Uh, and then we would want a hydrogen engine. Probably somewhere like... Maybe on top. And we can just pipe the... We can pipe the stuff up. We can put that right over there. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then we just got to get a connection up into the front port here. Which is fine, because I want to build that cargo container. Which I would love to connect just like this. Yes, so we can get the small connector port into the small connector port of that guy. And then there's actually, if you go into the conveyors, there's a new block now, which is really cool. Conveyor converter, this one here. There you go, large spaces and small ones. So it would be something like this. So this connector would go down flat over here. On top of that, we would build the cargo, standing upright like so, with the connector port facing backwards. Perfect. And then we would place a single connector between these two. And honestly, that's a pretty good uh, time to use a multi-directional one because we might have other stuff we want to connect to it, right? Like maybe some more farms, maybe another emergency survival kit. So we will just use a omnidirectional small conveyor. And then we need to link up this guy with this guy, which is another good opportunity for an omnidirectional small conveyor. Uh, let me just grab some more equipment. Now with it in hand and with nothing in the build planner, I can look at the inventory of let's say this i just got to get the right angle to catch it hold on got to stand like just just there there we go come on give me the highlight there we go oh and i can grab a couple of those and then we'll grab some 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 bends and we can grab a bend over here all right and now that's all connected up now it's just scaffolding for the moment obviously and that's unfortunately not really going to change but that is what we've got to work with. And then, you know what, just for just for certainty, we can add a, we can add a straight line right up there as well. All right, so that's all connected up with a bit of redundancy. You'd love to see it. We cannot build any of this yet, but there is one more piece I would like to get to, which is a rotor. So we're going to want the advanced 3x3 rotor. This is for small grid ships only. And we're going to want, as you can see, it's got a big connector on the bottom and a big connector on top. We're going to attach this just like that. I'm going to cut off that right there and i'm going to add a rotor head there we go not the small rotor head but the regular rotor head because now i can place large grid blocks on here question mark should be able to this is what i was promised oh no don't tell me i have to do all this again all right so my plan with this was to take this large rotor here i believe that i was able to attach a large head which is that one there and that it would then allow me to uh, build large grid blocks on it. Because you can do it the other way. You can use large grid rotors to build small grid blocks with that with that sort of uh, behavior. Uh, what's happening here? Please stop this. Stop this. Oh no, it's spinning. But that does not appear to be the case here. So how am I going to get the assembler, the basic assembler, this one here, and the basic refinery onto the ship? See, because I can't build them on top. I mean, I could, you know what I could try and do, which is super scuffed, but it's really funny as well, is I could try and just drop one on top, like this. Oh, I, I fell. But I could try and drop one on top and then merge block it. I just don't think it will actually merge. Hmm, okay. I'm going to keep heading towards that wreck detector, ping, and we're going to figure this out as we drive. 
And it looks like our wreck detector is, is a crashed vehicle. Not a crash, like, I thought, it was, I thought it was gonna be like a station, I don't know why. But uh, wreck does sort of imply uh, flying at some point beforehand, right? Uh, so I guess, I mean, we are sort of somewhat heading towards our station, so let's just keep heading this way. And uh, with the darkness, it's a little hard to tell if I'm driving to my death or not, but you know what? That's part of the fun, baby. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too steep, uh, even for the Skyrim horse here. Also, that might be a great name <laughs> for, this, for this rover. Uh, uh, yeah, we just gotta get find a way down the slope. Oh, and it looks like there's one right over there. Look at that, the path less traveled, huh? Say what you will about Space Engineers' train generation, but I, I I, mean, I think they were cooking here with this. Oh, no, 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 I take it all back, it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare, and I'm afraid. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, that sounds very expensive. Uh, you know what? The bumper is there to be bumped, people. Let's not mourn it. Okay, we lost quite a bit of the bumper this time, though. Whoa. Look at this thing. Oh, it's huge. Hold on. Uh... There is definitely a turret moving on that, though. I'm gonna run up in person. I, I just saw the turret move. Okay, it's moving again. What are you? This is a dang B-52? Okay, we got some turrets. Oh, oh, okay, it was turning towards me. I got scared. Sparkin. Huh, let's put the UI back on here. Just a bunch of small grid light armor blocks, so not really anything worth stealing. Uh, we do have some batteries we could pop off and take with us. Uh, some wheels, eh? That's pretty good. I will always take wheels. I mean, this would be, if we had a, a grinder, this would be great, right? We could just slurp all this up, but we don't really have anybody would put it right now. There's a connector on the back that'll have a large steel tube in it. Let's start by taking apart those turrets, maybe popping off that battery. That might shut the whole thing down. All right, let's creep up there. I'm a little bit worried about the bumpiness here. Uh, I think we'll be okay. The underside of the ship seems pretty tough. I'd love to get some heavy armor up front, though. We, we need a surplus of uh, grids before we can do that. I, I am actually still going to park in cover, though. I'm a little bit worried about this thing turning hostile once I start grinding it. So let's just park behind that rise over there. I just want to be... I don't want to be, like, in a place where I can't escape. All right. That's mostly out of the way. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit of jetpack juice, though, before we take off. And let's just put away what components we can. I know we're out of space, but you never know. Uh, can we build this? We can build most of this. Can I, hold on, I can make interior plates, can't I? Uh, yes, I can. Let's make, let's make like 20 interior plates, just so we can build this cargo container at the very least. Alright, at the very least, this will let us store the stuff we get off of this place, so that's pretty good. Okay, the goal here is to knock off that battery, and that might shut down the turrets. Oh, where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it... I feel like this thing's gonna turn hostile and just blast me as soon as I touch this. Alright, right there. Bruh. Okay, the turrets have stopped moving. Fantastic. Where'd the battery go? It fell down? I don't know where it went, though. The turrets are now indeed stationary. Fantastic, which means we can just steal the valuables. I mostly want... The, oh my goodness, that's slippery. I mostly want the, the grids inside them. You know what? I'll take it all. Get some auto cannon ammo. Very nice. This one will have missiles in it. Oh, and two large steel tubes. That's a gyroscope. Oh, or the hydrogen tank, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this thing's getting a little, little frisky. I, I think it's time to go. More metal grids. We take those. The metal grids give us more cargo containers. Don't really care for the autocannon ammo. All right, and we skadoodle. Oh, and the beautiful, beautiful, glorious sunrise. Look at that. All right, put all of this in there for now. Then let's start working on this. Oh my god, I am become thirsty, needer of juice. Let's grab some of that right there. You know what? You can chow down too while you're at it. Uh, let's just put away all the chow, put away all the water. We are now finally in a place where I'm not panicking too much. Uh, cannot withdraw interior plates. Why? It just won't pull them. I don't know. Like, it'll let me take them. Yeah, it won't let me put them back, though. 
uh, the transfer rules in this game can be a little bit of a pain to navigate. Uh, we haven't built this particularly well to, to deal with it, to be honest, but oh well. All right, fantastic. So that's most stuff connected up. Uh, we need six small teal tubes to make this, which we can't currently actually build. All right, this was a bit of a dud, though. No dice on there, on the rotor front. So how are we going to do that? How am I going to get the large grid pieces onto the small grid ship? I need to think about this for a second. All right, well, while we do so, we can continue heading over towards the station. Maybe that will provide the answer. Ah, back on the open plane. My, 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 and what is this in front of us here? Is that a frozen lake? I believe it is. Well, that's going to provide smooth sailing, if you will. Pretty happy to see that. Also, full sunlight right now, which is just awesome. Oh, no, okay. Do not accidentally press the A key uh, while in that particular view mode. That, that very nearly just ended the run. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that that is the safety bubble of a trading station right over there. And yes, indeed, our suspicions were correct. That is a trading station just over there to our right, which is just awesome, man. We need to, need to trickle on over there and see what we can do. Uh, let's just make sure this does indeed still work. Yes, it does. Fantastic. All right, let's, uh, let's see what the game's got cooking for us over here. Got a big old hydrogen tank underneath there, which is awesome. We've got a connector, unsurprising. A connector at the bottom, uh, which is apparently a connector for ants, because ain't nobody fitting under there. Hmm. Okay. Entering in. A flare gun and some bullets. Don't mind if I rob you. Thank you. I love the idea of the security guard just staring at us doing that. Okay, we're not allowed in there. Can't go in the kitchen. That's crew only. We have an ATM. Uh, we got 10,000 bucks to our name. Okay, that's pretty standard for a space engineer's start. Uh, we do have a vending machine. Oh, we can buy uranium. We can buy coffee. We can buy silver. We can buy gold. We can buy nickel and iron. Fancy. Okay. Uh, those, the inventory of these stations does refresh from time to time. We learned all of this in our Cosmic Co Commerce series, which is very short-lived, but uh, you can find a link to it uh, in the description, and it'll just be on the main channel as well if you'd like to check it out. I think it was pretty fun. People really seem to enjoy it. Okay, we can do contracts. Interesting. 588 interior plates for 100,000 bucks. Well, I would not say no to a lot of this. I would not say no to... I, I'm not quite there yet. I mean, this is... That's free money. Give me that. Give me that. 200k for 163 steel plates. You better believe it. We can also go searching, get some cash. Uh, let's see what we can buy here, though. All right, so they'll sell me gold. Oh, proficient hand drill would be pretty... That would be awesome. Uh, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Okay, it's a little bit... It's discounted. Oh, it's on sale. Oh, there's a sale on money. What will they buy? They'll buy ore. Okay, I think we just figured out what the core of this place is going to be. <laughs> Turns out we're doing piracy, but uh, this time legit. I mean trading. I mean trading. Sorry, slip of the tongue there. Uh, definitely buy me a tier two... Uh, drill though, please. and Thank you. Okay, that was most of our money, but we're about to make a ton more. Uh, let's go grab some steel plates off of our car. Eh, my bones. 160 something, right? What was it? Uh, contracts is the semicolon key, I believe. Yeah, 163 iron plates. Okay, we can get that. We can get that. Now, how am I going to expand cargo on that ship without breaking everything? It's going to be a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to pop off all the batteries we just put on. I'll have to remove the survival kit. Uh, build the the cargo container where the survival kit is and then continue it on beyond that. Uh, also, uh, complete. Character inventory. Confirm. Reputation plus four and 200,000 space bucks. All right, what do I want to buy? There's nothing to buy right now, but that's, that's not a bad thing, right? Uh, maybe some chow? Buy a bit of coffee. Can we drink that? Or like hydration and energy. I wonder if the mods uh, enabled that. It does not seemingly... No, it does not contribute to our actual hydration. Okay, cool. That's just... Those are separate mechanics. That's fine. All right, we need to pop out of here so that I can repair my ship. And then I guess we got to go find some ore. But uh, that's kind of secondary to what I actually want to be doing right now. 
what I actually want to be doing right now is building out our large grid rover, or at least putting down the foundations so that next time we could work on it. Is what I would say if what I actually wanted to be doing right now was naming this ship you thought I forgot, didn't you? Okay, you were right. I totally did. But we're going to do it. It's not the range runner anymore, baby. Rover Mac Rover face. No, I'm just kidding. You, are you joking me? Hell no. <laughs> this is in 2011. No, this thing is going to be known for now as the Canberra. Now, that is a very good name. It's a model engines reference, which are these like large roving cities that consume stuff. Very mid-tier movie. Great series of novels. I read them when I was, I think, a teenager. Uh, I was really a big fan. So yeah, the Canberra, the new capital of Australia, little throwback to the bin chicken from previous episodes, and a pretty damn sweet. Now, that name is subject to change. I, I love it, but I don't, like, love it. So keep him coming. I'm still open to suggestions. Uh, some honorable mentions from this time round. The Sandcrawler, which is just, come on, that's just great. Uh, Gibbs, which is, you know, honestly, just a, a good name in general. I wish it was mine, to be honest. The Dung Beetle, same. And uh, finally, the Not Fit for Roadworthiness, <laughs> which I thought was pretty good, uh, because I came up with it. I can't believe there were no Not Fit for Purpose references in this one. Actually, I think there was one. There was one dude who just called it the Fit for All Purpose, which at this point is absolutely a lie. All right, anyway, I'm heading back over the ice here because I want to actually find an iron deposit that's fairly accessible because I want to start building out the main rover. Uh, the large grid one that we're going to focus on here is going to need to also do a lot of the ore processing in order to build itself. So that's kind of the goal. We need to get it built, build power for it, and then kind of let it slowly snowball itself forward. It might take most of the end of this episode and the next one to get it going, but once we're on the road, oh baby, it's going to be good. Also, another honorable mention goes out to Brick on Wheels, which... Honestly, that's that was second place for me. I it was I, that's why it wasn't in the honorable mention. It was still floating around in my brain. But brick on wheels is just really good. Uh, do I? By the way, did I name? There isn't a antenna on this thing, right? No, no. Okay, cool. So the Canberra and I are just gonna keep heading over this way, and we're looking for dark spots on the ice. I believe there was one where we entered the plateau here. So maybe we head back over that way and keep an eye out. Okay, here it is, and what did we have? We had nickel, cobalt, and iron. Okay, perfect. This is literally the perfect spot to park up and build our rover. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better collection of ores. Nickel, cobalt, and iron are all the base metals you need to, well, you know, build your first base. So this is pretty much the perfect location for it. I think we're going to park ourselves up here. Uh, do I want to park on the slope? No, I don't think I actually do. I think I want to park fairly low down and uh, build on the ice because it's flat for no other reason than it'll just be a little bit easier to actually move around uh we are we do want we don't want to be too far from the stone though because that's what most of the initial digging is going to be done by so maybe right over here for now and then let's orient our solar panel sun's right ahead no problem okay perfect pretty much full sunlight That'll do it for now. All right, so the plan I've got for our rover is kind of an amalgamation of all the different things that you guys have suggested in the comments. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, so why don't we draw it? That's right, we're going to bust out the, <laughs> the streamer's best friend, baby. Microsoft Paint. Look at that. Wow, we are gaming in 4K right now, aren't we? All right, so the core of this build is going to be kind of like, a, a, I want to say like a hexagonal opening in the middle. It's going to look a little something like this. Okay, maybe absolutely nothing like that, but you get the core idea. All right, then there's going to be sort of a ring of blocks that go around it. Okay, and um, maybe not like that, but okay, maybe, maybe like that. I don't know. Let's not judge. We're going to fill this space with nothing. That's right. It's going to be empty. This space over here is going to be where we put our drills. Uh, all like, maybe I'm, I'm, I want to get like nine of them, like a big old stack of drills, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of the dream. Uh, how do you use paint by the way? Uh, asking for a friend. How do I, how do I select? Select. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. So drills in the middle. Then I'm thinking we have like a little, like we have like a utility area down back here, sort of going something like. Can, excuse me, can I please have uh, white? There we go. All right. 
We got a utility space back here. We'll have a little platform for the cockpit. i um, thinking maybe we're going to want like a bumper coming off the top, right? Over there. This is where the, the cockpit will be. So we'll, uh, we'll donate that with a little arrow. There we go. Okay, so that's the direction of the ship. Then back here, we're going to have room for the utility. So I'm thinking maybe refinery in the corner. We'll have a little space sort of over here for assemblers. Uh, we'll definitely want some life support recycling. So like the wastewater treatment and stuff. We'll want a little living area like a toilet and uh, gooby gooby gooba, all that good stuff. We'll probably want like a med bay over here. Maybe a little bit of sort of living space stuff over here. And then we've got a little bit of free space. So like maybe some room for some batteries over there. We could probably... We'll get some gyros scattered around in the structure of the vehicle itself. Uh, and then we got to figure out where the wheels are going to go. So I was thinking probably a pair of wheels per side here. Kind of giving us a, like a like a spider aesthetic. And then, of course, a large set of wheels at the back. Maybe a pair, actually, just to handle the weight. And then we need some smaller ones up front as well, just in case we uh, we get any bops or, or things that we don't want, like any bumps in the heels. All right, then Magic had a great idea to have utilities that can come out of the ship, sort of deploy from the top down. So I think, you know, we could put like a crane that pops out this way. We could have a grinder wall that pops out this way. We could have a series of kind of like small deployable utilities, maybe a, a ramp that we can sort of like we can load the the small rover onto and then it can deploy out the back or down the middle we could move the drill we could have like exchangeable tools for the drills there's a lot of really cool things we could do with this so all of those would kind of summarize themselves into something like this now the sun is setting so i think i'm going to go ahead and build the basic platform uh through the night and then we'll come back in the morning when we've got a better idea of what our footprint is going to look like and then we can kind of like snowball it from there several days later and once again, the sun has poked its pretty little head above the horizon. And look at that, if I turn around, we've managed to make ourselves the footprint that we spoke about. Now, I would have loved to have shown you this, but um, that entire contrived explanation was definitely not because I recorded the entire build with my microphone muted after my stream with Dead Pine last night. Um, my bad. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, I am doing a collaborative Tarkov stream with Dead Pine. It's been a lot of fun. All those videos are going up on the Largely Live channel. So you'll find a link to that in the description of most videos. In fact, it'll be in the description of every video going forward. A link to our second channel. That's the one where Magic and I put our longer form Let's Play. So if you want to watch these things with like fewer edits and a lot more banter, go check it out. Dead Pine's a great guy and we've been having a lot of fun with that playthrough. Oh, inventory full. <laughs> oh, there's no escaping it, is there? So this is the pretty much the exact design we spoke about previously um, on the paint.com segment of the video, which for you was 30 seconds ago, which for me was two days ago. Uh, I've dropped the idea of the hexagonal opening. I think it was just a little bit too impractical to actually make work with conveyors and stuff. Instead, we're just going to go with a simple 3x3. We can, always, um, we can always cut it bigger. We can always expand the rover. This is probably going to be the footprint for the next little bit. Uh, let's get this functional and then we'll worry about all the next best steps. Uh, I went with the 3x3 wheels. They just seem good. Uh, for the new players, uh, the way you can do this, by the way, is you can build a landing gear facing upright. Um, when you just sort of, you plop it down. So if I just grab one here, I'll show you an example of what I mean. That's Lang. I needed this landing gear. So you drop that. You weld this bad boy up to full functionality and then it will just lock itself to the ground. And that's a really easy way to get a stable platform that you can then build off of. So I just went up a few blocks and across because I knew that I wanted this thing to be raised off the ground, but I also knew that I didn't want it to be like too much of a hassle to move it around later if I wanted to. Uh, also this way, if I want, when I want to drop it, I can just sort of cut it off, right? And it will, it'll fall down and land on its suspension. All right, but that's the general sort of rough plan. As you can see, we've got a little bit of, let me cut these off. We've got a little bit of uh, greebling to do still, but I think for the most part, it's looking pretty good. I would love to get a little bit more clearance on these wheels. I'm worried that they're actually still too high up. I think I want to go down another block, but that we'll figure out in due course. For now, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. But yeah, that's the basic platform. That's what we're going to be doing. 
by the way, I just since I'm shouting out other content, uh, we did do a full Project Zomboid and Dyson Sphere program playthroughs on this channel very recently. The algorithm kind of buried them like a trash fire. There was a Pal World video, which was really funny. There was a Lethal Company video, like a full like fan cam edit, basically, that Magic did. It was, uh, it was really, really, really funny. It was some of his best work, and it just got absolutely buried. So, uh, if you would like to see that content, you can find it all on the main page. Please go and check out the main page of the channel, as well as the live stream tab. There is so much stuff there. I've had so many people in the comments of this series and the last one being like, Oh my god, it's so nice to see you posting again. Brother, we never stopped. We just, we just got, we got axed, man. I don't know what we did. We must have upset someone at YouTube. But <laughs> we got... <laughs> But we're back now, thankfully, sort of a little bit uh, with the Space Engineers, and it's going well. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. And uh, as always, boys, I will see you in the next one. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?